What's up everyone, Trey Thousand T here with a brand new video. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Vans LPCA washed. Um, the LP stands for Low Pro Era, the CA is California, and the washed is, you know, you can see it has the washed look on it, or the washed effect. So, these things also have uh, ortholite, which uh, provides uh, more cushioning, uh, keeps your feet dry, prevents uh, fungus and all that stuff. And um, I gotta say, these definitely have a lot of cushioning in them. Sizing, number one, sizing, they run snug. Whatever you wear in an MX-90, pick up in these. Um, comfort, super comfortable. The cushioning, this ortholite cushioning, very, very comfortable. You will, I, trust me when I say you will love it. If you've never experienced it before, you will definitely love it. Um, now, when I saw pictures of these things show up uh, maybe if a month or two ago, I was kind of on the fence. I didn't know how the wash look would look with jeans, if it was gonna clash or whatnot. So, but I liked them. I liked the way they looked. And actually, um, Vance had a shoe back, I wanna say in the 60s, 70s. Um, it was, a, I believe it was a California. I don't think they had a, um, it wasn't called the California at the time. It was just some kind of number, but this shoe was actually released back then. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a link uh, below in the box below. They had thicker stripes, and this this part was solid blue or solid black or whatever. So anyway, with that said, um, when I saw the pictures, I was as I said before, I was on the fence. I didn't know if they were gonna clash, but I figured, all right, I got to try these things on, see how they look. So anyway, I was in the city maybe a couple a couple days back, and um, I decided to stop off at the uh, the DQM van store. They didn't have my size. They had 11 and a half, 13. They didn't have a 12. But I decided to try them on anyway, just to see how they were gonna look with jeans that they were gonna clash or not. And they didn't. They looked really really nice. So I was like, okay, great. Now I gotta get these. So anyway, while I was there. I decided to take a trip across the street to the uh, to the hundred store. Now I'm a big uh, fan of the vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff, and actually I got a couple pieces in the uh, in my collection. And uh, I was with my girlfriend, uh, childhood friend of mine, and um, we're talking about this. Uh, I got a I picked up a a vintage Tommy Hilfiger shirt about 1995. It's from and. Uh, it's the flag shirt, the big flag logo shirt. So anyway, we're talking about that, and as I'm walking around the store, I see this big flag logo sticker on the counter in the hundreds, uh, hundred shop, and uh, I start asking the dude about it at the uh, register, and uh, he shows it to me, and here it is. Cortell you, New York, so shout out to them. Um, <clears throat> as a as somebody who collects vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff, when I saw this, immediately caught my eye, and we were laughing because we were just talking about it. And here's this big sticker. So, you know, I talked to the guy over there. They they just gave it to me and said, "Yeah, take it." Um, I think the guy who made it was in the back somewhere or something. But uh, shout out to Cortell you for the sticker. Um, you know, anybody that's into vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Gotta give him props. Tommy Hilfiger is very, vintage Tommy Hilfiger <clears throat> is very, very uh, uh, under undervalued, I think. But that's better for me because then I can get my the stuff I want cheaper. But anyhow, back to the shoes. Um, so I had to go on the hunt for this for this shoe in my size. I looked up, Karma Loop didn't have a size 12. No one had a size 12. Then I'm like, why didn't I check Extra Butter? Check Extra Butter, they have my size 12. And uh, so shout out to Extra Butter New York uh, and Rockville Center. And this is where I got my size. So anyhow, I'll show you guys a 360, uh, 360 view on these. The price on these was $65. And uh, you know, with tax come like 68. I'll show you the box. And 
installed around looks really nice. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like with shorts, with jeans, and um, you know, like I said, uh, it's just a nice shoe. Um, I know there was some hate on it. They didn't like the wash look, but trust me, it looks very, very nice. And Vans did a good job. My one request to Vans is please bring back the Vans Lampin. Now, some of you may never have heard of it. Do a quick Google search, Vans Lampin, L-A-M, like Mary, P-I-N. I had this shoe back in 94. It's such a great shoe. It's like a, it's got like a, let's say this part would be red. It would be like two two things here, red and red, and then down the middle would be like black, and there would be a little black here and a little black on the side. Such a dope shoe. Vans, please, please bring back the Vans Lampin. I'm actually going to start a petition on that. Hopefully uh, somebody will see that and uh, we'll get some retros. But like I said, if you guys haven't seen the Vans Lampin before, check that out. Love that shoe. But anyway, let's get into, uh, I'll show you guys what they look like on your feet with jeans and with shorts. So that's going to be the next part of this video. All right, everyone, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got to see what they look like on your feet with shorts, with jeans. Um, once again, price is $65. Whatever you wear in an Air Max 90, I would definitely pick up in these as they run snug. Um, very comfortable, good cushioning. And uh, before I let you go, I'm gonna tell you guys, please check out my website if you haven't already. DefyNewYork.com, D-E-F-Y, New York.com. You could put either Defy New York or DefyNY.com. Also, check out OSDLive.com, O-S like Sam, D like David, Live, L-I-V-E.com. And I also wanted to give a shout out to a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jay Conroy. He's uh, an unbecoming artist. Please check out his uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to post a link in the box below. Or you could just search uh, J.Conroy, C-O-N like Nancy, R-O-Y, 
J Conroy. You could do a search. J Conroy times Mad Lib. J Conroy times New Theory, uh, etc. Uh, please check out his music. He's looking for feedback. Uh, whether you don't like his music or you think it's the best stuff, please give him feedback. You know, he'd like to hear from you guys. And um, also, shout out to Quartel U New York. Um, while I'm showing you this sticker, I figured, and since I was telling you the story about how much I like, you know, the vintage Tommy Hill figure, I'll, uh, I'll show you this shirt that uh, I was talking about as a bonus. Um, the story I was telling you earlier about my friend and I, when we were in the 100 store, we, uh, we were talking about this t-shirt. This is the, uh, the old school Tommy Hill figure logo t-shirt. One of my favorite shirts. I actually had it, um, I think, I want to say back in like 1995. And uh, it was either 94 or 95, I had this shirt. And I've been on a search for it again. Found one in my size, so I had to pick it up. Um, like I said, I love vintage Tommy Hilfiger. And, uh, you know, that's why when I saw that the uh, this sticker show up, I was like, oh, shoot, somebody else in this vintage Tommy Hilfiger too? So caught my eye immediately. But anyhow, that's the shirt. These are the shoes. Would I wear these shoes with that shirt? Probably not. I'd probably do it up a little bit different. Actually, I know the shoes I would wear with that shirt, but I'll cover that in the next video. And um, once again, I appreciate you guys checking everything out. Stay tuned for more videos.